Hey all, my name is Doug Falcon. Thank you all so much for clicking on this DNF Dual Beta pros and cons and of course the fixes. There's a lot of stuff I want to go over before it's summer 22 release date and I'm really looking forward to playing this game and also saying if this is going to be the one for you at home. And personally so far there is stuff that I definitely cannot wait to get into and talk about but there's also some things that I really want to see fixed and that's going to go to our cons of these to fix. They're going to be like bundled together so bear with me with this format. Okay, so first things first let's talk about the pros because there's a bunch of them. It's got to be said, the game looks incredible, right? It looks absolutely great. I love all the animations. The style of each character is on point. And even playing all the characters for the most part is a ton of fun. So the gameplay is pretty easy to pick up and play. Like, it's got the skill system and a magic skill system. So you just hold forward or back on your stick, press the skill button, you're going to get a different option rather than doing, like, a quarter circle or whatnot. So think of command inputs, but all the time. And personally, I have no gripes with it. I know some people want the execution. It's still there. You could still do quarter circles and whatnot. But if the shortcut is there and you want to get to them faster you could just use the shortcut and you know it's just up to personal preference i don't mind the fact that the game offers both options and it's really fine for me uh there's not you know anything that detracts from the gameplay i think it plays great and uh, it's very similar to like power rangers model for the grid or something like that so i'm all for it uh overall i think the gameplay is very fun it's very easy to learn new characters and get straight to that good stuff and figure out combo extensions and, and things of that nature and i'm really looking forward to figuring out the cast i wish there was some things in the game to help me with that which we'll talk about shortly but regardless it was pretty solid as for the net code the rollback was of course great i even fought homies in japan and it was definitely a bit of delay based like you know definitely like four to five frames of delay i'm sure but we weren't rolling back too much and it did it feel like I couldn't move or do anything that I wanted to do. It was very, very good. So when the rollback was working, it was on point, didn't have any issues. I barely even saw it roll back. But when we fought people in America, especially on Wi-Fi, I really saw it kick in and it was pretty egregious to full on straight up stuttering and like pausing and whatnot. So hopefully they get that under control, but it's not really their fault. It's mainly just you guys on that dog water internet and that's gotta stop. You guys gotta, gotta get land up if you're gonna hop on these betas and whatnot. Don't make my experience paid. Uh, overall, uh, yeah, definitely enjoyed what I've played so far, and it, it's, it's not too bad. As for the CODs, though, there is a handful of things they gotta fix before launch, as with any of these games. So let's start with the first one, the movement. It is absolutely sluggish. I don't like how some characters have this weird heft and weight to them. Uh, Dragon Knight comes to mind, Inquisitor comes to mind, uh, a couple other characters. Actually, everyone just feels like they got like training weights on their feet at all times. So even if you're dashing, and unless you're striker for the most part, you don't really feel like you're going that fast, especially when it comes to rolling and whatnot. Like rolling is really bad in this game. It is absolutely awful like you'll do a roll through a projectile and by the time you're rolling through someone is already running up on you after throwing the projectile and mashing on your face and you have no options you just gotta hold that so i think rolling needs a huge buff because a game that's as oppressive as this one is and how crazy projectiles are going to be and whatnot i think you definitely want to get out of jail kind of card to you know get in there and force them to block and whatnot if they're being reckless with it and there's just not a lot of options in the game to prevent players from just mashing projectiles in your face and putting you in really bad block streams, which is another thing that's an issue with the game is the very oppressive block streams certain characters have, mainly because guard uh, cancel costs so much meter to get out of certain situations like Inquisitor's Will and whatnot, and there's so many active hitboxes on moves like Kunichi's Fire uh, Tornado and Inquisitor's Will once again, or Crusader's throwing a wall up behind you and whatnot. It's really hard to get out of those block streams on oppressive characters and get your guard crushed and then it opened up for huge damage so hopefully they do something about that maybe make the guard cancel cost just a bit less meter and whatnot uh to make you know block streaks not feel as prevalent because even though you may not get your guard crushed you are just going to be blocking for a really long time and taking a lot of chip and it just just doesn't feel good to just hold back and like no one's getting rewarded the person throwing your hands on you isn't getting rewarded you who's blocking isn't getting rewarded you're just waiting turns essentially and it's, it's really strange i don't know how to explain it. it just feels very very off in that regard but other than that it's a pretty fun time uh, and and you know th those were the two or i guess like couple major cars that i really wanted to hit and go over as for the things to fix before launch there's, there's a bunch of them. Uh, number one is that lobby system. The lobbies were abhorrent. Like, you were getting kicked out of them. Your matches get stopped mid-gameplay. You would be fighting someone. It would desync. And then if any one of you pressed X or one of the buttons during uh, the match, it would pull you out the match, kick you out the room and whatnot. It was really bad. And then you had uh, just all sorts of other issues in terms of just trying to find a lobby and get into a match. It definitely was broken, the room search feature, because you couldn't find people. At least I couldn't. There was no password system on launch. Like, there's going to be a lot of things that I'm kind of looking 
forward to see if they're going to fix it and kind of curious about. So hopefully, like I said, the passcode system's there and, and whatnot, and you can just invite people to the lobby. That's definitely got to be there. Like, even for betas, they usually have that or have a place where you could meet up like Dragon Ball Fighters beta did where you go to like East Coast 1 or 2 or 3 or whatever and you play your friends but definitely was none of that here and they really should add that to the game. Uh, tutorial mode is something that definitely should have been there. I had no idea what I was doing throughout the beta and it's kind of fun to like figure out the gameplay and the controls but it gets really repetitive really fast when you're doing the same thing over and over trying to find things to work and you can't really have that time to learn for either players like I was going on 20 you know to, to 15 game win streaks and whatnot throughout my matches and you could definitely see the frustration in people when you're fighting them because they just don't know what to do or don't know characters and whatnot and they have no place during this beta time to sit down and at least figure out just a basic BNB to get a grip on a character in, a, in the game so that's something that definitely needs to be there in all betas like KOF 15's beta even had it and it made going online in that game a lot more seamless and fun experience so hopefully they do something about that too. Uh, so those are the two big things out of tutorial mode, out of training mode and the last one is a big hope for me personally and it's going to sound a little off but I want this on launch. Please let this be a budget fighting game. <laughs> Please don't let this be another $60 fighting game with DLC and whatnot. If it's 40 bucks, I'll take it. If it's if it's like 35 or whatever, we'll, 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 we could talk. But please don't let this be another $60 release. I can already tell that this game is not a $60 kind of game, right? It's definitely got some some jank. <laughs> it's definitely got some BB tag to it where it's a little, you know, little Kusoge if we will. But I do not want to see this be 60 whole bucks. Uh, with DLC and season passes and whatnot. We're past that era in fighting games. It's either budget or I'm, I'm done. I think the last full price what I'm getting is KOF 15, but please do not let this be full price for like 12 characters, a handful of stages, and some other, you know, okay things, right? Unless there's a good story mode or in-depth story mode, maybe? Because it is DNF, right? They got the whole beat em up campaign and whatnot, so maybe they could do that, but overall, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good off of that. Uh, that is my biggest hopes and things I want to see fixed by launch on top of my pros and cons for DNF Duel. I enjoyed the beta. I enjoyed the game quite a bit. There's a lot of stuff that I'm really looking forward to learning with each character. I love Striker a lot, especially the fact that she has a Morocco ult. <laughs> I like the fact that Dragonite is very fun. I never thought I'd play a set of character like her, but it, I had a blast, you know, doing all the launchers and throwing my dragon out and trying to look for all the different things that make the dragon tick was pretty cool. And utilizing all of that in combat felt great and I, I just hope to see some more of that throughout the game uh, as we progress so hopefully as time progresses and, and as we move on they listen to some of the complaints and fix some things but so far from the feedback we've been seeing on twitter and, and what they've been putting out on youtube and whatnot i think they're definitely going to be more communicative with uh with the, the fans and things of that nature so yeah I think, I think this game will be in pretty good hands again hopefully it's not full price, but uh, that's only a time will tell kind of deal. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I wish you all the best. Thanks for coming out. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. Be sure you guys stay safe out there. Hope you guys have a great one. And peace.